right, welcome back, everybody. Hi. We have uh, Bort here. Hey, everybody. What's up, Bort? How's hey. it going? Just in general, how are things going? Before we get into your uh, into your update here. Ah, it's going. Yeah? Mm-hmm. It's going. It's one of those mm-hmm. weeks where you just can't claw out of it. You know, you're yeah, trying yeah. to get out of that pit. It's just not working. Just trying I'm to trying. dig out. Mm-hmm. I'm trying. I saw a cute little jackrabbit run across the courtyard this morning. Kind of helped a little bit. There's so many rabbits. That's what ah. I've been saying. We should yeah. get one and t- bring it to the studio. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I yeah. like it. That'd be fun. So there's that. But, you know. As we all do, and everybody around the world, we all have annoying, stupid coworkers we deal with on the daily. Yeah, so it's time uh-huh. for uh, Bortz. Uh, every once in a while, we bring him in for the annoying coworker report because, man, we are surrounded by people who just do the dumbest stuff. True. <laughs> yeah, but we just have the outlet to be able to uh, to out them and and bitch about it a little bit. It actually makes Bort feel a little bit better. It's good for his mental health. Which is good for all of us. Because like Greg was mentioning, he does mention gasoline and, and lighters. Lighters and yeah. how he's going to burn the building a down a lot. I do have the lighters now, but mm. I'm still waiting for that gasoline requisition okay. to come through. I don't know why it hasn't yet. All right, um, well, Bort, who's uh, first on your list? Well, you know what? It's funny because um, this is a special Woody Show-centric annoying coworker report. And to start off, you know, thank you guys for letting me do this, get things off my chest. I did find out uh, that I was doing the segment via Vaughn this week, of all people. For some reason, nobody else wanted to tell me I was doing the segment. Oh. That's, the, that's the classic Woody Show communication no, that, chain. Yeah. No, 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 no. Incorrect. Uh, Bort, uh, by the way, <laughs> Bort is on every email that goes out for what we're doing on the show the next week. True. And I'm looking at it right now. You're yeah. on the list. Oh. Yeah, you're on the list. True. So maybe read your emails. Uh, uh, you know, I would appreciate if somebody came and told me. You know, it'd be nice. Just a little so, heads up. I like there's a couple producers on the show. No offense. Jamie, Morgan, no big deal. Read the email. I'm just saying. Come on. All right. What do you guys? All right. (laughs) All right. Here we go. First one up. A coworker kindly decided to offer to make breakfast for the rest of the team by bringing in home appliances to cook their food. Did they a set up in the kitchen down the hall to prepare the food? B set up in the studio away from all the new equipment? Or C do the one thing I told them not to do? And plug all the appliances in under the board and possibly short out our backup supply and fry it out a couple of the outlets on the six strip. Wait, are you talking about me? Yes, I am right talking about you. I didn't want to plug it in there. I will say, Bort. I didn't. Is, Menace is correct. I didn't want to. Menace had an assist from Woody on this one. Yeah. And I mentioned even, hey guys, we got some wall outlets over there. Yeah. And, and I was like, like oh, I want we got plenty of outlets down here. Well, because when we <laughs> moved into this new studio, the engineers were first to point out to me that we have all this room down here. Now we have more power strips right under the board for our convenience. Yeah, but I kept on trying in. to plug it into the wall. And you're like, no. I, I figured to keep it out of the way. It's, again, but, for somebody who watches so many home shows, you would know not to <laughs> overload. It doesn't, matter overload. How many power, it doesn't know, matter how many power strips. There are still different breakers for different things. Okay. And you should know that. And nobody... <laughs> They're, but, they're they're pretty much unused down there because they're two new power strips for the purpose of plugging in. You're like a laptop if you want to right, or something right. else. Hey, Bort, and by the way, nobody told me about that. Hey, Bort, what happened when you plugged those things in? Well, so that was the fun <laughs> of trying to set up the, the cameras one day. I'm here one night trying to plug in all the cameras. I'm like, why are the cameras not connecting? And then try to set up like power supplies for you guys' laptops. I'm like, why are these not working uh-huh. now? And it's gone. Yeah, so, they got fried. Uh, well, so there's that. We all live and learn, right? It happens. I learned before. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> but I thought we were okay. All right. Here's your next Woody Show situation. We receive emails on the weekly from our company trying to test us. Yes. This was an email from a manager requesting to share some personal financial information with us via an Excel <laughs> file on the cloud service. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This turned out yeah. to be a massive company phishing email. It looked yeah. like this. It looks very legitimate, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Thank but, you. But, Bort, we get man- emails from our manager all the time I'm trying by. to share personal information. Yeah, right. Financial. Exactly. Right, some yeah. financial oh, wait, no, document. <laughs> yep. So, who on the Woody Show fell for this beautiful email? Was it A, no one, B, Gregory, or C, Gregory and Sammy? No, Greg did fall no, for it. Greg did fall for you. it. No, I did. What? Yeah, Ramey, Ramey did. Me and how yeah. dare you? I what? It. Uh, it was both the women? On my <laughs> annoying co-worker report, it's Bort. See for bad. false accusation. Yeah. Yeah. I was I was informed it was you. 
No, I mean, somebody wow. else is no, it's just me. because people assume it's me. Wow. It was, it was Ravy and Tim. Yeah, Greg couldn't even figure out how to open the email. <laughs> yeah, that's it. He tried. That's he tried it. and tried. He's like, it doesn't yeah. work for me. Yeah, pile on. It's in a false wow. email. It doesn't work that's for me. Wow. You know what, Greg, I apologize. Ravy, you are now taking Greg's spot as the <laughs> technologically inept <laughs> person on the show. So we- many corporate people <laughs> fell for it that we had to do like this whole thing. 25 minute training yeah. thing. You're the reason we had to do that training? Yeah. Not just me. A no, lot of people fell yeah, so for it. Sammy as well. For yeah. It. it was only me and Ravy. We're so the, the two only reason that the entire company had well, to take the room. training. In this course. room. I mean, yeah. that's why I blame you guys. And yeah. then I will from now You're on. You're the two that's that it. pushed yeah. it over the edge. That's yeah. totally <laughs> it. <laughs> All right, this is a Bort's annoying co worker report. Okay. This one is near and dear, special to my heart this week. A Woody Show City. Recently had us off the air for about 11 minutes. <laughs> you can tell how much I love talking about this one. Oh, yeah. When asked if there was an issue, we were told there was no problem. But you know what? In this day and times, everything is recorded. I don't know why people try to get away with stealing things in the office. Yeah, there's cameras. trying not to come into work. There's cameras. There's key cards. Yep. There's recording devices. Yep. No, I was there at whatever time. Where are you? Yeah. Let's check the key card. Right. Yeah. Let's yeah. check that. Mm-hmm. Let's right? track you. In right. this case, no, nothing, nothing is wrong. And then Bort's able to go back and check and see uh-huh. digitally uh, what was going on. And if we really were off the air. And it turns out, yes, we mm-hmm. were for a long time. Right. So how did they respond? Did they apologize and say, we will never have this issue again? Did they apologize and say, you know what? We will notify you immediately the next time this happens, and they did notify us. Or C, we had to get another major off-air issue. They lied, and they do not understand the concept that we have recording devices everywhere. We can pull it and prove their stupidity and email them again and go, what the hell happened? I'm going to go with C. Yeah, yeah, C. yeah. I'm going to go C. with that, too. Yeah. 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 Oh, it was C, They don't the know way. how technology <laughs> yeah. works. Yes. Yeah. No, I did uh, I did talk to them after that first one because I'm like, guys, what the hell? And because uh, it's a really important city to us. Yeah. Sure. And uh, they said they had figured out what the issue was, and it's normally not a problem, but the guy who was supposed to be there organizing and making sure that everything, uh, the trains are on time, so yep, to speak. Yep, yep, uh, Like, he overslept. And, uh, oh. And so <sighs> things that uh, were normally handled or whatever weren't handled, and so things were just running, you know, amok by themselves. Mm. Yeah. Wow, shocking. You know what's funny? So yeah. it never happened again, right? Oh, no. Well, no, I guess it just happened again <laughs> this <laughs> like, morning. Like today. Yeah. <laughs> and the best part was when I yeah. reached out about it, no one got back to me until another boss looped in another boss, and then immediately there was an answer, yeah. which still Weird. doesn't sit right with me. Well, we don't <laughs> exactly have NASA engineers working in radio here. Uh, you know, you think that we would. Yeah. That's true, but most people have a working alarm clock. Yeah, usually when you <laughs> mess up, you just, like, you're on it for at least you, a couple weeks. Well, you know you, the... <laughs> right, exactly. You know? You're actually showing up in the building. Taking well, care of business. You know, yeah. especially if, like, one of us was supposed to be in town that day, and maybe they need to let somebody into the office, and they didn't show up, and then that person's just standing outside. That never happened either. Sounds like there's one person that's the issue. Uh, you know, I say there's lots of people. There are lots of issues around here. Okay. Yeah. Tons of people. Tons of issues. Um, We got one more? At least? Let's get one more. Oh, okay. One more. Sweet. Okay, here we <laughs> go. Tell Bort's not quite... He hasn't quite got not it all done. out yet. One more thing. I'm still holding back his hair as he vomits out all this aggression. Look, there's tons of stupid things that happen. There's there's QR codes that we spend hundreds of dollars on for studio reservation that don't work and lead nowhere, and we have to spend hundreds of dollars to redo them. Okay. <laughs> there's, you know, fire alarms that go off and turn off air conditioners that yeah. we have to reset... And apparently, nobody knows to reset it, and it cooks the studios and fries them all night long. (laughs) You know, these are things we deal with on the daily, but this one is very special. We here at The Woody Show, we just celebrated our 10-year anniversary with a giant Fiesta party bash, right? Mm -hmm. 10 years without getting fired, Fiesta. And in those 10 years, we've had a slew of problems with all of our events. You know, whether they were ours or station (laughs) events, we always have some situation that arises that messes up one or more of us having an issue getting into the event. Mm -hmm. Now, getting into our own event. Yeah. Own event. This is what we talk about, by the way, guys. When we Mm -hmm. talk about, like, hey, you guys just think you're such big deals. You think you guys are hot ish or whatever. Like, do you want to see what not hot ish looks like? You should see us Uh try to get into our own event. Come hang out here for about five minutes. I'm so glad you're included. The place Uh we pay for. (laughs) (laughs) And so here's the best thing. You know, we had a a sprinter van commissioned for most of the members on the Woody show to get there, right? We're all arriving majority together. And I don't trust it because this has burned me many, many a times. And so after contacting (laughs) multiple people to confirm there would be no issues whatsoever, any of the members 
or our guests having any problems getting into the event. How many members of the Woody Show had issues getting into the fiesta? In the rain. Was it zero? Was it one? Or was it seven plus all our guests? I'm gonna say it was just one, and they just like they, they misspelled their name, and it, yeah. and it was but they but they saw the problem real fast, right? Anyone uh, else? Uh, Any other fun guesses? I'm gonna say seven, and everybody got poured on. Uh, you'd be correct, seven, and we were stuck in the rain, and our names were not on the list. And we oh, and no. it was one of those things where you can't stand here; you have to stand three feet yeah, right here. You gotta be in the okay, rain. but three feet here, it's raining. And then right. uh, uh, the best part: uh, who are you guys? Right. Oh we're the, yeah. We're the Woody Show. Oh. Are your names on the list? Well, yeah, we're on the marquee. Oh, oh, well, you're not on the list. We yeah. can't let you. This is our party. This is my favorite yes. thing about security at any venue is instead of, oh, there must be a problem. Let me right. go find someone who can fix this for you. It's Just, nope. It's nope. Go home. Sorry. <laughs> See you later. Yeah, that's the world we live in, guys. It yeah. is what it is. I'm not going to try. Yep. So, you know, <laughs> you must have showed up to the entirely wrong place by accident. Dude. F 15 minutes later in the yeah, rain, they finally go. Minutes. Uh, so, what are each of your names? We'll just write them down and let oh. you know. <laughs> I, had that, I had that happen at one of our our stations I showed up to just recently. Recently, I said, Hi, I'm Menace from the Woody Show. And they're like, Who from what show? <laughs> I go, And they had the sticker for our station right next to them. I'm like, For that station? Oh, so you want to be a DJ for that station? No! <laughs> I, I work on that station. Yeah. Now, also to be fair, it's a new station for us, and they didn't know he was coming. <laughs> he didn't tell anybody that he was going there. So, the to Menace, be fair, Menace is on like twenty-five or seventy-five <laughs> different radio. Right. So exactly. Like, yeah, right. I said the morning show. <laughs> All right. Anyway, Bort, I hope you feel better. Thank you, guys. I think I do. I feel a little, a little bit better right. after all of this chaos. Well, and good. you know, just read the emails, man. Well, you know, if, if common courtesy. <laughs> Look, I'm just saying if you, if, if, if you uh, want to be fair about it okay, and you want to, like, you know, okay. point out what other people, maybe read the email. Because okay. in this case, the what there was communication. There was email. The I, email did go out. I will remember out every week with the next yeah. email that I sent. But the right. not on the show every week. Uh, so Well, you know, I'm not in the meeting every week or also any that. week. So, you know, there's that. Yeah. So. Just read the email. That's all, I'm saying it might, might help you out. Ah, this is why I have. Or just skim it. Right. We're gonna take name. a uh, <laughs> we're gonna take a quick break. Keyword yeah. search port. <laughs>